Hello everyone, welcome back to my channel. I would like to show you a really cool thing that happened a few days ago. I was taking part in the Jane Viewer Games and I came across some dude that at first I wasn't too fond of. He was taking the games a little too seriously for my taste, but he was giving good advice. I didn't really know what to think of it and then he just sent me a friend request out of nowhere, which was very strange. But then he sent me a group invite and I was like, why not? Let's see what happens. And it turns out that he is a GM player. He had just created the account, not entirely sure why, but he thought that I was worth coaching. So he decided to have some time to actually give me some coaching tips on how to use Reinhardt and just tanking in general and I wanted to share it with you for anyone who is playing tank and is around my elo and feels that maybe these tips might be useful for you. So here is the video. I thought it was really helpful and next video I'll also show you maybe some results of what the coaching resulted in and um, yeah in the meantime I hope you enjoy the video and have a good day and of course the usual thing like and subscribe and press the bell icon Blah blah. See you later. Thank you so much and enjoy. And here it is. So what do you actually want to like get good at? Uh see I'm a tank main. But I have been practicing my support, as I was saying, for like my positioning and everything. So I feel that if I get better at my support with my positioning, I'm gonna find it easier to get better at the other two. I hope that I am not too wrong about that. It shouldn't matter. Like it's like individual roles of different positions, and so if you learn yeah. one that that revolves around the other, because it's a team-based game. So if you learn tank, you're gonna learn yeah. what you would want your supports to be. Yeah. Well, I've always been a flex, so I like playing all three. So for me, it, but it's more like what I've noticed is my highest SR has always been tank. The only reason that it isn't now is just because I've just been working on my support. But um, I it's am, pleasant. yeah, if that's okay. <laughs> we can play either like Ryan Zarya or Arisa. I'm a main tank person, so just so you know, I am really shit at Zarya. Well, I'm like shit ish, but I'm definitely better at uh, I'm Ryan. Sorry. And that'll be easier for me to watch you. So, okay, that's. Wee! Nice and quick. <laughs> Alrighty, guys, let's see how it goes with this guy wanting to um, wanting to coach me. Let's okay, team chat. Put on the spot. Say what? what? Yeah, on you oh yeah, that's like always anyway, so it's okay. <laughs> I got a new Wi-Fi adapter today. I'm getting. I have a lot of anxiety right now. To see how it's gonna do. It's okay, okay man. I'll, I'll get rid of your anxieties. Have you seen my armor? Thanks. It's blue. It's NYXL. Oh, oh yeah. We're good. NYXL. We're good. Oh, my God. I'm Pog. Well, I'll carry you. <laughs> oh my god, and I, and I Guys, can we not hold over there? No, watch out. Oh, look at the monkey. This is my. Do 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 do. Okay. Let's write that look. I can say it. Oh, the. Got knocked at it. We need to like get picks right now, or else we lose because we're down two. So just play guard. Yeah, the monkey is pretty good. 
I'm gonna uh, flank and duel. I was thinking this flanking over here for some reason by himself. Punish, punish, punish. Uh, yeah, yeah. Monkey here. Monkey, no jump. Yeah, she's. She, he's, he's gone back. Terror on me. Invite. Okay, hold up. Just give me a second. Monkey behind. Uh, someone's flanking from the right. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Two people. Mora and Baptiste. Woof. Thanks for sleeping him, because I'm... I grabbed him. Ah, oh, damn. I've got chatter. Give me something left. He's okay. running away, no fun. Hey, group. Thanks, Lucio. Oh, point, point, point. And we've got a Sigma from the left as well. Ow! Oh, stupid. Thanks. Yeah, he's gonna come from the left somewhere. Corner, right here. I can't close for this one. Oh, 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 oh. Where's the okay? Oh, my God. I'm sorry. I'm sorry. That was stupid. Really, really stupid. On my way. Thank you. More on a fade, guys. She's on point. More on a fade. Nice. Find his own twenty seconds up. This is the last fight, but. Just hold him. It was gonna get past us, but that's it. Just let him go back and we'll hold the we'll body block. He's clapping. What do you see your job as, as main tank? Uh, create space. Create space for people to, like, dominate, basically. Have, have your and, like, team... What are, you, what are you thinking when you're playing? What am I thinking? Um, well, in this case, uh, it was a lot more 
organized than what I was used to, so I was thinking more like, holy shit, where should I stand? Everyone <laughs> seems to know what they're doing and I don't. <laughs> That's what I was thinking through that game. Um, but usually when I play tank, I think more... Um, I have to hold this ground is literally the only thing that I think. I don't think much else. Well, obviously, apart from like when my cooldowns are and enemy team, what cooldowns they don't have. And I try to do alt tracking and stuff. But other than that, it's mainly just I have to stand my ground. And this this is our territory, basically, is what I think. Okay. Mm. Here we go. Okay, pick Ryan. Okay, I'm gonna pick Ryan. Cool. Oh shit, everything's sped up. What the hell? <laughs> yeah, so we can move uh, where I want to show you. Okay, so if you, like... He's, Jane's half right with us uh, saying, like, you shouldn't play. Like, if you're playing like you're in bronze, then that's why I'm bronze, right? And so you can't play like your team's shit and no one's anywhere and they're not, right? So, like, yeah. You have to play like how you're supposed to. And yeah. So, first question Why were you here at the start? Like, when the doors are. Uh, the reason I was there was because I thought big skies. Uh, I don't want to be Mr. Rectangle Man, uh, Rectangle Man, and uh, just stand here. I'm gonna be completely useless. So I thought gonna hold the corner. But then I noticed that the whole team stayed up there anyway, and so I caught up with everyone else. Yes, yeah, so you're basically like like here. You should basically always be up here. Like unless you're like bastion or some shit bunkering somewhere else, you should basically yeah. always be. Up here, because this is a good place to hold. Because even as right, the left side, okay, you can just as it as oh, like true, whole, like a true. Of the whole team is here, right? It's like you can't control your other teammates, you can only control you. And I like this is a, as in you have like an ideal world, right? You play like how you're supposed to, you play like how a good player would play. And if you lose because of your team, you lose because of your team. But if you play well, you'll win the majority, anyways, right? Yeah, yeah. And so, this is just like before that fight starts, this is what plans are plans stop the second the fight starts because then. It's all, it goes, all goes to shit. So from here, right, the reason why you want to hold here is because now your entire team has a height sight line of everything, right? They can see every, like the entire choke, right? If there's a far out, you just, you know, play close to them, make sure that they don't get hit by the far stuff, right? Mm -hmm. If the uh, enemy team goes left, you can either dive on them if you have like speed or close range, or you can just hold here and let your team shoot at them or hold here and let your team shoot at them. And you can just like mow them down the entire time they rotate around you. Or okay. to the right side, the same thing. You can just stay on high ground and just mow them down. And so there's no like, like if they dive, you can just start brawling. Or you can hold, you could even hold shield while your team deals with both, right? That way they're back line, if they have any, right? If it's like dive with Widow, then you can just still hold here. Question. With Widow Hanzo? Yeah. Um, and this is what I do um, in, in the lower elo because it works every time. And that's why I was thinking of holding down there. So usually team just goes da 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 and it goes all the way around here so if i'm holding up there and people are just walking right around me and like onto the point how would you that's why, that's why up here is so good is because if they go down there you okay can fire strike the like the squishes while they walk past and then you can rotate here or you can jump okay. like if your team's like fucking just like way behind you you could either like you know rotate back to help them or you could even just like jump behind them and now you're a fucking flanker you're flank Ryan in close range right because right here you jump on them and they're just like walking past the only people here are squishies right so now you, it's you their entire heels and so either the entire enemy team has to turn around and all focus on you which means now your entire team is focused has like they have all the space in the world there's no one on their team space focusing any of them or your the entire team doesn't turn around and now you're just alone with their heels in point blank range which as reinhardt doesn't sound that bad mm. Yeah, and if the right. if the team does turn around and focuses you, well then, if your team, well then that's the, like you just try and do as much damage as you can, get as much all charge for next fight. And yeah. Ideally, you know your team should be getting space or making make, okay. like doing stuff with the space. Okay. If, as your job is make main tank is making space, 
if the entire team is focusing you and you're behind them, the entire map besides exactly where you're standing is now space. That's now a safe place that your, your team can stand. Right, so that's that's like you're making the most space in the world. There's no possible way to make more space. <laughs> that's like actually a really good point. Because <laughs> right? like, if you have a junk rat, they don't, they've no one. Like if they, even if you're a shit widow, they're just gonna start spamming into them. Right, it doesn't matter how bad they are, they're gonna start doing damage. And ideally, since you start doing damage, you know, hopefully they'll do something. If they don't, you've lost because your team, and you know, you were gonna lose anyways. Right? Yeah. Or you could like, but if your team's like confident or something you could like you know you hold up high ground and let them drop down and shoot you or you rotate with your team but you have options you got to make sure that you play depending on the situation right so like if your team's way back here and they're all close range heroes i don't even like because you know they're fucking retarded you know just just you could either like just charge in and go for a pick that way it's 5v6 until yeah. you die or you could you know back up and just hold behind this corner and wait. Or you can even just sit up here and wait. If they don't notice you up here, or they're just ignoring you, and your team's close range, like characters, like Reaper and shit, and they're on point, you can just wait up here and then jump on them close range. So now your entire team's on them, you're behind them, and you're, you know, flanking them in close. Right, so you want to be holding up here, and you want to rotate depending on what happens. Right? So you want to be making space. But making space, you can do it by being in between your team and them, yeah. or being the reason or like like being the reason like making the enemy team focus you instead of them right because you're doing that when you're between you right like if you're the, my team and the bench is the enemy team they have to focus me right they can't focus you yeah right but if i'm if their squishies are being raped by me right yeah there's a clear line of sight to you but they still have to focus me because they're gonna get wrecked and so you're like stand. You're saying like I want to stand here that way because I know they're gonna come here. But like, why, right? Like, there's a even if you know they don't have to go that way. And even if you do hold, or if you hold here, mm. what's gonna happen is they're gonna go like you're gonna do some damage, right? And let's say your team's you know has no brain cells and they're just randomly spread around the map. How can they help you from here? Right from here, you know the map, the fight just started. The enemy team's all here. You're here. Right? Like, yeah, they have space, but they can't see the enemy team. Right? So now you're dying to the enemy team before the fight starts. And your team can't help you because they are they can't even see the enemy. Well, let's say you say, like, what, what would happen only in a, or in a comp at low rank? What would happen in what way? Like, what, what would the enemy team do? Oh, um, so it can go two ways. It, it like slowly people are starting to actually know this map, so they know they can go right. But it doesn't happen very often. Everyone likes to go left because there's a lot of safety. So usually they when either. You stand here, what happens? So when I stand here, usually I look to like do a fire strike, and then I would go to like this door, and just basically stop them from here. And in lower elos, if um. If you have like an Orisa or someone who can kind of, well, no longer <laughs> really as much, uh, but like basically hold like up there and just not move um, and just have like a long range, then then usually it would set up there. But um, if it's like Rhinzaria, usually like lower elos, we like set up down here. And if we do set up there, it usually ends pretty bad. <laughs> so I do. Yeah. You're setting yourself up for like the ultimate, like six feet one. Right, because like, how is your team supposed to help you if you're if the enemy team's in here? Right, like go go somewhere where you, your team would stay. Where my team would what? Sorry, you skipped uh, the where, where the. Where would your team like stand? Oh, stand. Like, where would they be? Uh, well, it depends. So, like, usually it would be like in and around the whole thing here. Like, if I'm Orisa, I'll actually set up like most of the time. I'll set up like here. Because they have to come through here. But that was before I knew the map. <laughs> then I realized they could yeah. go left <laughs> and just go all the way around. But uh, it still works. You can still hold here. And when they see everyone like here, they just all tend to gravitate towards you for some reason instead of like going away from you. So I think it's like, you know, uh, with with see with support, I've learned that um, bad habits that you learn you have to get rid of them. So I still like I've I've gotten rid of some bad habits and support but with tank because I haven't like I haven't actually 
touched tank in maybe like a season or so. Um, so I, I last experience I've had was really playing tank in like bronze more than anything else. I, I am silver on the other account, but I have been dri dripping or dripping down. So I think I still have like bad habits that I've created for myself in playing like lower elos and and it I really got to get rid of them. Like for example, standing here because I know people yeah. will come to me. <laughs> Which is like so stupid because the the like you don't want to play like Yeah. Kind of, you know the bronze are going to play. Right. Play, exactly. Like, so, like the bronze team is like unpredictable like like oh they'll split general, sometimes as well yeah like you know, some some people will be like oh i want to go right and some people will be like i want to go left and they'll literally just split in two right, but like right here if you're right here if, if the enemy team's right here and you're holding like this door yeah your team has to be right here in order to be doing be able to do yeah. anything right and yeah if they're widow or close range they're used and so right here you like if you're playing here you need your team to be playing with you, playing like close range characters, being right here, and you need you need the enemy team to be going this way. And True. So you're playing like situations where that requires yeah, because the line of sight for both teams to play the yeah. way you want them, which is just setting yourself up for failure. Right? Because like if you play here, if they just go right, like even if they just go like this, then you're still flanked, and if your yeah. team isn't like literally right, you're you're 1v16 because their entire enemy team can see you but you can only see a like, small doorway you, your yeah. team can't see any of them right yeah and so you're setting yourself up because in most situations it's not gonna be ideal but right here right if they go you know like where's the fucking direction they can go where it's a 1v6 for you nowhere right they can't there's that doesn't happen that doesn't matter how shit your team is they could all be hiding back here Right, like literally all of them, and you'll still be standing here helping them. So this is, you want to play for like every situation all at the same time. Yeah. And then as the fight gets, as the fight goes on, that's when you adjust to what's happening right now. Right, so if you hold up here, it doesn't matter how, what your team's doing, right? And then the enemy, enemy team starts to push, right? They push left, you, you know, just wait here, make sure your team is space. Maybe you play here if your team's close, but if not, then you just back up. Right? Or if they push right side, you just you can drop down and fight them. If your team's like, if your team can see you and see them from, but if they're on high ground, then you would and they have range, then you stay up here, because then you're protecting your team while your team can do damage, right? But if they're not, if they're close range, you want to be holding here. That way, your team can like brawl them while being safe. And if they're pushing high ground, then you want to stay in between them and your team, right? And if they start like flank, if they get past you, that's when you want to like just drop back to point immediately. Like, okay. them, right? Because if they get here, you're, and you're over here, and your team isn't up here, and they're just kind of like over here, then they now their defense basically, right? They've yeah, yeah, closer to point. Right? So you want to like adjust the point the second they get past. Yeah. But until then, you know, if assuming your team isn't like ready to fight them here or here, because if your team's ready to fight them with you, then you can just drop down on. But that's, you know, it depends on what happens, right? Like, as this, the plan lasts for until the fight starts, and then you have to react. But yeah, so generally you want to hold general places. You don't want to be, like, closing off the sight lines of your team and the enemy team. And so, like, play, play in, like, the cent central positions where you can see all sight lines. It's a big play for Like, you understand? Like, I don't know. Like, I want to make this, like, generic. Yeah. <laughs> We've had someone join. <laughs> 1v1 right now. <laughs> Lol. <laughs> oh, he's left the game. No, I swapped him to Spectator. <laughs> I genuinely thought you were gonna just switch to Widow on <laughs> V1. Okay, and then here. So look. I'd say restart the match so that it uh, it it takes up the new the new settings. Oh, that I didn't change your settings. Like, oh, okay. I thought you did. So it just says that anytime you do any. Oh, and so um. 
at the second you lose, you lose first point, you like this entire area is dead zone, up until like the top of these stairways. This, this stairway is dead zone because they have so much advantage. They have so much sideline. They have so much space. They have minis. They have megas. They have spawn advantage until like here. You don't mm. want to be anywhere near there. And so like here, if your team is with you, then you can like you know decide to brawl. When your shield gets low, you hide behind a corner and you like call it out when it starts to get low. Or that way your team can hide and then like wait until they start pushing down more and then you bring up your shield. And then when they're like point blank, that's when you start brawling. But that's if your team's like here and you have like Zarya and you have Reaper or something. But then if you don't, right, if they're on point or something, then you just like, you know, you don't even start up there. You start back here and you're just waiting for them to push up and you hold the corner and you, but you want to play very defensive and you want to just make space for your team. Right, and then once they start, like even if like the Rhine is starting to hit you, right? If only the Rhine is up up this much, and everyone else on his team is way back here, and they're like long range characters, you don't even drop your shield, right? You just ask for healing, ask for your team to shoot them, right? Because the value you get of displacing the Rhine hard, doing some damage, isn't worth endangering your entire team. Yeah. But if like their entire team is grouped up right here, and you can start doing damage to all of them, and none of them can shoot past you because you're like right here doing damage to them. That's when you start a brawl. And if they're just melting your shield and you're fucked, you just you just back up. Okay. Right, and then you just wait for them to push up, or until your shield's full, and then you just do the same thing. You wait until they push up. If they do push up all together, you swing. If not, you just go around. The... And if they pull up, push on left side of it, right. Like, up here, like, this is fucked. There's no, like, you're not, like, unless you know for a fact from a long time in the future they're going this way, you don't really hold up here. Okay. This is, like, unsafe. They can just flank you. It's, it's terrible. Yeah, like you gotta yeah. It, then you have to take back. So you want to stay inside the opening. And so if they're up here, you just want to try and stay in between them and your team. Right? And if they, like, if your shield gets low, then you just... Okay, yeah. It's... And then when they, if they drop down, you, you can charge them into your team. So then now your team has a 6v1 on someone you charge. Or you could just start swinging if they have relatively low damage and you know you can survive here. Right? But if you're going to like get melted because they have a Reaper, you just charge someone back. And now, you know, they're like 1 HP. Your entire team is somewhere over here. And it's a 1v6. But if they're like, if they have like, you know, Widow or something and they're all close, just, just, just wreck them. Right, so it's, it's situational, but basically, before the fight, just stay in between you and your team. Right, the, the, the enemy and your team. Right, so if they push, like, right side, you're just like, well, where's my team? Right, if you're my team, I'm like, okay. Yeah. And that's it. And then if your shit gets low and breaks, you're like... And then they, if they... What are they going to do, right? They push close. Now you can just start swinging on them around the... Right, like either one of these, probably this one because it's safer. And then they push that way, you back up with shield, keep your teams. Well, if they push this way, now you're, you know, you can just start swinging them. Or you can swing it here and most of their team can't see. But you can do damage to anyone close. And then they push out here, and now you walk this way. And now, boom, you're, like this is assuming your team is like here on this side or on high. But if they're like way far left, then you just, you just rotate this way. Right, so it's just it's just it's just rotations and being in between the enemy and your team. But if your team's like over here on the high ground and they're down there, you just you know you back up. You could either go over this side and try and make the high ground if you have time, or you just hold down here and just jump. And then if your shield gets low, you can just, now you're safe. Oh, so just try and stay in between your team and them and work on rotation. I just okay. threw so much information. No, no, it was all. If, you, if nothing changed, I understand. No, 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 it was all, all, all good information. Don't worry. Yeah, but it's hard to, it's hard to learn fast. It's not, it's not that easy. If you just like, if you instantly just change completely to all that, you'd be GM. <laughs> but no one's like. Well, I like to uh, think that I'm a fast learner, so let's see how it goes. <laughs>